here with the Admiral Bill Stubblefield and New York Times bestselling author John Gilstrap, whose company I will keep Friday night at the hospice event. Yes. Uh, thanks to the generosity of the Admiral Bill Stubblefield, who bought not just one table, but he bought the entire building for the night. <laughs> it's just us three there in the entire go. room. That's right. That's really and, quite and, a generous and, offer. And spouses. And, and wives. And spouses. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What Can't is the plural it. of spouses? Spouse I? Spouse I. You're spouse asking me? Spouse as. Spouse as. And you're asking it's spouse me, I. Even if I knew, I couldn't pronounce it. <laughs> That's a fair point, sir. That is a fair point. Uh, we are continuing our post-election day coverage. Uh, the show's back to its normal operating hours of 8 until 10 each weekday morning. And with us, the uh, person who won the Republican primary in the Berkeley County Prosecuting Attorney's race last night, Joe Kinzer. Joe, good morning to you. Hey, good morning, everybody. Congratulations, Joe. Was there any doubt in your mind at the uh, at the last minute there? Oh, thank you. Um, you know, it, it's such a weird feeling. I, I really don't know how to describe it. I, a lot of people were um, calling me and, and texting me when, you know, 73 of the 80 precincts were in. And I'm like, y'all are going to, like, why would you do this? There's still seven <laughs> precincts left. You know, but, um, but uh but no, it was a it was a great evening um, spent with good people, and um, so happy this morning. What do you think the difference was in the race, Joe? Why do you think people decided that you were the person? You know, I think um, my entire campaign, which was pretty much a year, I mean, almost, we started in June of last year. We started very early, um, but it was all built around experience. My experience as a prosecutor here in Berkeley County and the connections that I've made with investigators and, and the uh, reputation that I've built with the judges and the lawyers um, for, for just doing the job well as a prosecutor and, and establishing myself as a leader. So I, I think that that specific experience um, for me is, is probably what carried the day. But yet you and the other uh, judicial uh, uh, folks cannot go out and really advertise. Uh, and your <laughs> your opponent, uh, uh, Jason Stedman, also argued or campaigned on his experience as well. So what made the difference between you and the argument that, uh, that Jason was making? Uh, sure. Well, I, I, one thing I think is word of mouth. Uh, I really do. I, I, from the beginning, I asked people to please ask around, you know, please talk to people that work in the courthouse, talk to people in the criminal justice system, um, and, and ask who they think should be the next prosecutor. Um, and, and I think when it comes down to it, you know, my opponent, um, certainly has more years of experience being a lawyer than I do. Um, you know, but he was, he was pretty far removed from any prosecutorial service. You know, I think that was in the early 2000s, um, you know, a thousand miles away. And, and I think just that, that the local, acute, very specific experience that I've had here in Berkeley County in this office um, and, and you know, in, in the cases that I've prosecuted here, you know, I've, I've prosecuted some of the biggest cases in this county in the last several years. Um, and, and I think that that's, I, I, I believe that's what did it. I think the testimonials helped. Hi, I'm Charlie. When Joe Kinzer prosecuted me for murder. I've never been better prosecuted than ever before. Uh, he did it real fair like. Uh, yeah. nice I'm going to guess that was not a death penalty conviction. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Even though it sh probably should have been. Okay. Yeah, I, I noticed you, one of your chances for publicity was this uh, photograph that appeared in the journal with all the uh, oh. uh, all the chair. But yet your face was behind a microphone. Somebody could see you, you were know, there. You could see everything I'll except your face. You. I've got to tell you, I'm framing that, and that's going on the wall. Um in, in the office for sure i'm gonna frame that photograph i couldn't believe that i laughed so hard uh when i picked that up the morning of the election and my face is covered up by a, a cell phone on a tripod which ironically is my cell phone on my tripod <laughs> um, so uh they had they had set up everything over there in the sheriff's office for that press conference and so i just put my stuff in a row next to the other cameras and then um uh, i don't know the sheriff assured me last night that they sent out a uh a picture that had everybody that that any of the news outlets could use, but the one that the journal picked was the one that obscured my face. Yeah, that's, you can take okay. some satisfaction, Joe. Everybody else on the stage could be recognized, the exception of you. <laughs> <laughs> so this is good for four years? Yes, four years. 
Well, and technically, I, I mean, there's still there's no Democratic opponent for me, but there's still the the um, general in November. Can anybody be appointed to run against you from another party, Joe? Do you know? Uh, not not that I'm aware of. No. All right. Well, then I guess we should congratulate you as being the next prosecuting the, attorney. The only way is somebody could run as a write-in, but they have to have something like ten percent of the signatures in order to signatures, appear on the ballot. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, Joe, congratulations, man. Good for you. Hey, thank you guys so much, and uh, appreciate talking to you this morning. Have a good day, sir. Congratulations. And go thank pick you. up those signs, Joe. <laughs> yes, I'm on it. I'm on it. I promise. <laughs> Joe Kinzer, who won the Republican primary last night.